Have you ever wanted to fly a D-engine in a rocket kit with an E-motor hook? Well, today that's what I'm going to show you in this video. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Ashley. And today I'm filling in for my dad who's out sick with the cold. So today I'm going to show you how to put a D engine in a rocket kit with an E engine hook. If you look at the difference between an E engine and a, C, a D engine, you can see that the E engine is an inch longer. If you put a spacer in, which comes in a few rocket kits, it makes it the same length. If you ever lose your engine, spacer or you don't have one, I'm going to show you how to make one today. So to start off, you're going to take a spent motor, a 24 inch millimeter motor, and you're going to measure one inch on the end of it. One inch. And then you're going to take a razor tooth saw and saw that off. And look at that, we have a one inch spacer. Now, from here, you're gonna take your Apogee sanding tee with the sandpaper on it, Apogee C, and you are going to sand this end smooth. and make sure you round off this edge, otherwise it's gonna get stuck in the motor round. And then to test fit it, you take your, um, your spacer, you stick it in the bottom of the rocket and push it in, and then you're gonna take your D motor and put it in the rocket. As you can see, it fits like an e-engine would. If you need any help with this, you can contact Apogee Components at www.apogeerockets.com. And as my dad's corny um, poem, as he says, may the winds be light and the skies be blue, <laughs> may all your rockets fly straight and true.